Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into the Inco Network testnet. This is the missing layer of the blockchain stack, empowering smart contracts with confidentiality to unlock use case and enable widespread Web3 adoption. We will show you how to participate in this little arcade, little fun. But uh, before we get started, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn, and cool rewards we earn along the way. Now, some of these test nets give out rewards, and this one has funding of over $5 million, so that's good to see. It's uh, great to see projects uh, in their test net phase, getting funding like that as it will help to incentivize users to participate. If you do need help navigating any of this, I have a Discord, link is down below. Come in here, you'll be asked a few questions, and once you answer those, click submit, go to the rules and guidelines, scroll down, click the thumbs up, and you will have access to all these wonderful channels. Also, you can find me on the X, the BCR142, Share a lot of stuff on here much faster than I can on YouTube. Also, I co-host a show called DeFi Crypto Airdrops at DeFi Crypto Airdrop with my man Veteran Crypto, Veteran for Crypto. Check him out. Got a lot of stuff, a lot of good DeFi stuff. And follow our, our brother channels, brother sister channels. All right, let's get into it. So they launched... We launched a conference token association with Open Zeppelin to develop a framework for empowering token standards such as ERC20 with confidentiality. They got their strategic partnership or strategic funding and they launched Inco Lightning, a solution enabling developers to build confidential on-chain applications on base Sepalia. And they have launched two Inco Lightning powered experiences for users to try. Hangman, which is a fun game and Comfy, an application that enables you to keep your balance confidential on chain. Pew. So Inco Arcade, that's a private payment hangman. Let's try this first. Let's see. This should be a little fun. Shouldn't be too difficult. You're gonna connect with our wallet. Ooh, battery's dying. So let's unshield. Oh, we'll mint now. Let's mint some testnet tokens. Just gonna mint a thousand. Uh, I don't. Usually it'll have a minimum or a maximum amount, but this, you just put in a random number. Looks like I got that. Now let's try CUSDC. Let's do a thousand of that. There we go. Now we have our assets we've minted. Now let's go shield, shield all of this. Let's see what this does. We're approving the token allocation amount. And now this is confirming or finalizing the transaction. Oh, and this is probably to wrap. Okay. What is this? Re-encryption. In order to view that, you must sign the transaction. So this unshields it. So unshield will unshield 100. This essentially hides your token balance amount. Let's see what that is. Okay, can we, is there more than one transaction? Nope, oh, yep, looks like unwrap. Now we will unencrypt or unshield. We should have $100 coming back. Maybe we need to refresh the page. We have to try it again because it did not work. I guess it's uh, just not going to work. So the unshield doesn't look like it's working. I guess that doesn't work. So I guess it's kind of stuck in the, the encrypted form. So I don't know if... I might have to submit a ticket for that. But if you're having issues with this, just mint more and play around with it. Let's see, I don't know. I don't know what, what the dealio is. Oh, pretty interesting. All right, we're gonna play the hangman game next. And they can, we can close out of, disconnect and close out of here. That's interesting. You can hide your token balance online. Now let's play the hangman. What do you do when you want to play? Hangman, hangman, hangman. All right, now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh wow, there's transactions are not gonna be good. Although I get it, each one of these has to have multiple transactions. That's 
There are projects that take these and batch them into one transaction. You don't have to sit here and do this every time. We'll, we'll play this. And it is good to get these little transactions because it does help. The idea of the project is to build confidentiality and security and interacting with these smart contracts will help them do that. I guess in this case, it is kind of good to have the microtransactions, even though it's annoying. I'll just do A E I O U. What do you think it is? That's okay. Let's see if it's peso. We'll just guess this and be done. We got O A E I O. Oh, mesh. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Mesh. Mesh. Is that it? Did we get it? Boom! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the last one. Don't give up, dog. Don't give up. All right. Well, that was fun. As you can see, play some Hangman, play around with the private payments, and just get these interactions in because interacting with these smart contracts will help make this a more robust system. If you do need any help navigating this, this was pretty easy and fun. But if you do, jump in the Discord, hit me up on Twitter, and I will happily help you along your crypto journey. And with that, this is the Blockchain Report. Have a wonderful day, my homies. Peace out.